every night fucks every day up Every day patches done mud up Icy Twat just came out with a new mixtape, project, whatever it is called Have Mercy On Us. Icy Twat been mad consistent as of lately. Nigga Darwin Mike said, crazy how there was a time when Icy Twat never dropped music. Now he drops all the time. And I'm like, bro, that is facts. I remember I was starving for some. Like Shirt, for example. That shit was a snippet for like, what, three years now? Nah, four years now? Oh, no, 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 I dropped last year. So yeah, three years now, and then it finally came out. We got Have Mercy On Us by Icy Twat. If you already heard this album, comment your favorite song right now, man. And comment how you feel about the album. Trust Issues is the first song. Let's get it. This nigga Icy Twat just had like a very, very unique vibe to his music that you can't find from nobody else. And I'm here for it, bro. That's the best way to stand out is to just be genuine to yourself and what you want to do and not follow what everybody else do. I fucks with that. Next song is Don't Go Out Sad. That Migos Don't Go Out Sad, that should be going crazy. I can't go out sad about no bitch. <laughs> Always can't go out sad. That's what that shit called, ain't it? But hey, we ain't here to talk about Migos. But uh, Don't Go Out Sad by Icy Twat. <laughs> This shit rocking, bro. God damn. I don't know why this shit hitting like this, but it's hitting, bro. Bitch, 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 and shit, he said you don't go outside, man. If you die about them bitches, you going outside. In my glow, let's get it. Yo, I like the I like the influence I see in his music. This is this is exactly a predominant example of how you use your influence. He uses influence to create his own sound. Like I can hear like the three six mafia influence in the beat and like the um in the sounds he using. Like he used his influence to his advantages, bro. I personally don't really like when it's very, very direct. If you're using the influence, don't base your whole sound off that shit, bro. That shit is not gonna be good for you in the long run, bro. Use your influences to create your own sound. Or like, it don't even gotta be about music. Use your influence to create your own art in general, bro. Like, for example, my influences 
for making reaction videos was fucking uh, Zeus and Bilu. Everybody know them, but my video is nothing like this. I'm my own genuine self. They just made me want to do this shit, you feel me? I got my own platform doing my own thing. I want y'all to put that in consideration. If you're looking up to somebody, don't be a direct influence of them. Don't, don't directly try to mimic what they're doing, bro. Learn from what they do and do your own thing with that. I see Swat doing that very well. Gym music, let's get it, man. This shit is knocking, but one thing I could say is I could barely hear him on this song. 70% of my ears hear the beat. Shit, the shit knocking though, it's cool with me. <laughs> Next song is Out My Face. <laughs> Next song is Weightless. I fuck with uh out my face. That shit was lit. It would kind of remind me of Lil Buddy though. I crash out on Lil Buddy. It's like the same flow. I can't remember what he said in Lil Buddy. But um, next song is Weightless. Oh my damn! Hold on, 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 hold on. What the fuck, bro? This shit sound hard. This shit might be my favorite. I only heard like two seconds. Nigga ain't even dropped the beat yet. Yo, 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 yo. The fucking producer outdid himself on this one, bro. What the fuck? That shit hit me like, hit my soul, bro. <laughs> I'm not even finna lie. This shit is hard, bro. <laughs> this shit hard, bro. This is the one right here. But, bro, the way this shit sounding, bro, I could turn the. It ain't raining no more. Now y'all can see my beautiful skin glow. Nah, this shit hard, bro. Let me run it. See, you see when I heard this song, it started getting sunnier again? Come on, man. This song doing wonders, bro. I gotta run that shit all the way the fuck back. <laughs> Stones, make 
Shit is cold, bro. This shit is so cold, bro. Damn, it really did get sunny, bro. My damn, hold on. I lie to y'all not, bro. The storm is over after hearing that song, bro. Weightless is my favorite song so far. It might be the fav the fave of the uh the track list just because I enjoyed that so much. Shame part two, let's get it. <laughs> I don't think it's one, one beat up here that didn't give me the stink face so far. I don't do this to every song, bro. I don't. This nigga is hitting me every single time. Pause, what the fuck? These beats are hitting me every single time, bro. It's Shit, that is a shame, bro. That's a fucking shame. Yo, Icy Twat, I think you done outdid yourself, bro. I'm not even finna lie. This project, I don't know why the fuck you decided to only drop it on SoundCloud, but this shit need to be on Apple Music. Cause other niggas need to hear this, bro. Shit, it might be your best work. I, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I still gotta fucking compare it to everything else. I need a few more listens in, but right now, bro, it's up there. I'm not even finna lie. <laughs> This shit is hard, bro. What the fuck? Nigga, you outdid yourself, bro. Nah, bro, this shit is crazy. I'm not even finna lie. Yo ass need to drop this shit on um on streaming platforms, bro. Like this shit got it, bro. Next song is shoebox money. Let's get it. I see why I love your flow on this one, bro. Yeah. Standing, let's get it. We all see what last nigga 
It came out of nowhere. Next song is I Got Eyes On Me, which is the last song. I got eyes on me, I got holes on me, I got day one, shot a fall on me, mama told me, gotta keep up holding on me, cause I never know a nigga in Texas. I love drink sins, got a hold on me, I love drink sins, got a hold on me, I love pink titties, got a hold on me. I need money, condoms all in the kitchen, I need bitches naked all in the kitchen, I need money on the floor, my nigga. I need money on the floor for the dishes. I need money on the floor for the dishes. I ain't gotta have my hood or some missus. Mama told me gotta keep a pole on you, cause you never know what nigga intends. I love drink sins, got a hold on me. I love drink sins, got a hold on me. I love pink fifties, got a hold on me. I need money, countless all in the kitchen. I got eyes on me, I got holes on me, I got day ones trying to fold on me. I'm not gonna lie. This shit's starting to lose me a little bit. The shit was hard at first, but like the flow and the beat started like drifting apart a little bit, I feel like. That shit was hard, I'm not finna lie, bro. My favorite song, Weightless was fucking insane. That shit was my favorite song up here. As I knew after I heard it, you done outdid yourself, Icy Twi. This shit right here is something special and it it deserves to be on streaming services, bro. I'm, I'm gonna say it again. This shit deserves streaming recognition, bro. This nigga Icy Twi was about his purpose when he made this shit, bro. I lied to you not. He was about his fucking purse. I fuck with this a lot, bro. I fuck with this more than anything I reacted to, bro, by Icy Twilight. The only one that I'm not saying is the best one is because of uh, Dream Boy, and I really, really have, like, I, I have a bias towards that album. That album just sound like every fucking thing I love, bro. <laughs> like, honest, the whole atmosphere of that album was just everything I love. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say this don't have potential to be better because this low-key can be better, bro. I'm not even finna lie to myself. I honestly feel like mainstream trap is getting kind of boring, bro. But Icy Twy and a lot of other underground artists, they they putting that shit out there, bro. I'm not even finna lie. This is all honesty coming from me. I feel like when it comes to trap music now, bro, the underground will always be better than the mainstream shit as of now. Like back in like 2015 to 2018 stretch, mainstream had that shit. But now, bro, I feel like the mainstream niggas need to step their game up. Because these underground niggas is low-key getting better than y'all, bro. These underground trap niggas is creating their own lane. At least the ones that I listen to. And that's nothing but full respect. For you to grab your influences and make something else out of that shit, that's a real artist in my eyes. Drop down in the comments any other the underground trap artists I should check out. I'm not really too deep into the underground trap scene, but as far as I know is what I base my opinion off of. Just let me know how y'all feel about it. Let me know your favorite song. Drop all that down in the comment section down below. And for all the homies out there, make sure you have a wonderful day. Receive a lot of blessings, money, and positivity for the day tomorrow and forever. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you can become a homie if you're not. It's Spike Leak tuning out. See y'all next time.